What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got how to build a Dyson Sphere, the ultimate mega structure. Let's jump straight into this one. I'm looking forward to this. Human history is got told some space by the videos right now. Let's go, man. And first, we had to use our muscles. Welcome back to another. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got how to build a Dyson Sphere, the ultimate mega structure. Let's jump straight into this, man. Human history is told by the energy we use. At first, we had to use our muscles, then we learned to control fire. We industrialized the world using coal and oil, and entered the atomic age when we learned how to split a nucleus. At each step, we increased our energy harvest to a scale never seen before, and advanced as a species. Currently, it's actually really mad, like... As a species, how far we've actually came from, like, hitting rocks, you know what I mean? And, like, especially the past, like, 20 years, like, we've actually fucking progressed so much so quickly in such a short time. So it's crazy. We're it's actually mad. transitioning to renewables, and if we're lucky, fusion energy will become viable in the future. As humanity progresses further, if we don't destroy ourselves or our habitat, we Bro, will... Bro, like every single video is if we don't destroy ourselves, man. Like, watching these videos are honestly scaring me. Like, they all believe we're just going to end up fucking destroying we ourselves. Complete control it's mad. Of our planet's resources. At that stage, we'll probably begin to look outwards for new places to expand into. But space is hard, and establishing a serious human presence in the solar system will require ungodly amounts of energy. Luckily, we know where to find it. The sun, the ultimate source of energy. A furnace 100 quintillion times more powerful than our most efficient nuclear reactor. It shines with the energy of a trillion nuclear bombs per second. So how do we get this energy? Not some of it, all of it. What the fuck? That's just being greedy, right? Which I take the whole entire sun. Is this is this what it's gonna be about? We're gonna put something over if the we sun. Want to collect the most energy physically. We are, aren't we? We'll have yeah. to build the largest, most ambitious structure in the universe. A motherfucking Death Star, man. <laughs> the Dyson Sphere, a mega structure that encompasses a whole star to capture its power output. For an intelligent species, building a Dyson Sphere is a technological leap on a par with the discovery of fire for our ancestors. The transition from a planetary species to an interstellar species. It would usher in an age of exploration and expansion on a scale we can barely imagine. So, what would it look like? A solid shell enveloping the sun is probably not the way to go. A large rigid body like that would be vulnerable to impacts, possibly shattering. It would be liable to drift and could crash straight into the sun. Wow. A more viable design what would a happen if that happened? might be a Dyson Swarm, an enormous set of orbiting panels that collect the sun's power and beam it elsewhere. Such a swarm would give humanity... How would you create something that would be able to, like, hold the heat from the sun that close? Basically unlimited energy. But building it won't be easy. The sun is very big, so we need a lot of satellites. If right. each satellite is a square kilometer, we'd need around 30 quadrillion to surround the sun. Uh. Even if they're built as lightly as possible, we need about 100 quintillion tons of material. What the fuck? And then we need the energy to actually put the parts together and deliver them to their positions around the sun. On top of all that, we need to have a permanent infrastructure set up in space to start building. Let's assume, for the purposes of this video, that our descendants will take care of that and want to create the megastructure. We can sort the challenges into three main categories. Bro, this is mad. Design and energy. To get the vast amounts of raw materials required for our Dyson Swarm, we'll have to largely disassemble a whole planet. Of the planets available, Mercury is the best candidate. It's the what the, the fuck are we watching? Close to the sun also means less moving stuff around. And Mercury has no atmosphere and only about a third of the surface gravity of Earth, making it comparatively easy to launch material into space. Next, we should consider the design of our swarm. Simpler is better. Conventional solar panels are far too intricate and short-lived. Our satellites need to operate without repairs or intervention for astronomically long times, and they need to be cheap to produce. They're most likely going to be enormous mirrors, 
which refocus sunlight to central collecting stations like in concentrated solar power on Earth. Bro, how would to this work, man? Efficiently, they must be incredibly light, made of little more than polished metal foil bound to some supports. And last, we need the energy to build and launch the swarm itself. I don't understand, like, how that works. The solar panels around the planet, right, around the sun. The sun is collecting the energy, but where is it putting the energy? And how is it redirecting the energy? I don't get that. Like, it, it can't just transmit the energy through the, you know what I mean? Like, through the year. Like, with, like, actual solar panels, don't they go to, like, a wire that will transmit the energy? Bro, I don't Taking know. I don't know how that, all that works. Into space I actually don't. requires an enormous amount of energy. For example, if we used all the fossil fuels and uranium on Earth, and we were perfectly efficient, we could only launch as much mass as Mount Everest into space. A rather meager accomplishment compared to planetary disassembly. To get the energy needed to build a Dyson Sphere, it's almost as if you're going to need the power output of a Dyson Sphere. But that's Mad. okay. There's plenty of sunlight to be had on Mercury, so let's get to work. Humans are expensive to keep alive and are very sensitive to the environment, so we'd want to automate as much as possible. Ideally, we'd have a small crew of controllers who oversee an army of autonomous machines doing the actual work. There are four major pieces of technology required. Solar collectors, miners, refiners and launch equipment. The solar collectors are going to give us the energy we need to disassemble the planet. To start, maybe we deploy something like one square kilometer of them, either as mirrors or as traditional solar panels. They'll provide the energy to run our miners, which strip mine the surface of the planet, and our refiners, which extract valuable elements and fabricate them into our swarm satellites. To get them into space, we need a creative and efficient solution. Bro, this is a very, very, very well-made video. I'm actually really fucking enjoying Rockets this one. Rockets are too expensive and difficult to deorbit and reuse. Instead, we'll want to use a sort of railgun, a long electromagnetic track which launches our satellites at high speeds. Our what swarm the satellites fuck? would be packed tight for launch, unfurling like an enormous origami. How would you get it in orbit. the right position, though? From this point, we can take advantage of exponential growth, using the energy of the existing parts of the swarm to build more infrastructure on Mercury and launch new panels faster and faster. Each panel provides the energy to build another. Those two work together to build the next two. Four become eight, eight becomes 16, and so on. Within just about 60 doubling times, the sun would be completely surrounded by solar panels. And this can happen quickly. If a square kilometer of solar collectors takes a month to build, we could be done in a decade. If only our infrastructure what on the, the planet's fuck? surface can keep up with the quickly growing budget of energy. Even collecting 1% of the sun's energy is an unbelievable change in our species' energy budget. We could create the infrastructure to beam basically unlimited amounts of energy around the solar system for all sorts of projects. Colonies on other worlds. Bro, this is mad. Planets, constructing more megastructures or even traveling to other stars. It could be the start of an interstellar civilization. Based on physics. See, that would never work though. Do you know what I mean? You know, um, traveling, how like it's going that quick. Because how would you avoid crashing into something? If you're going super speed, which we all... I'd like, I really wish we could do, right? We all wish that it, it will happen. They might figure out a way of it happening. You just got to build a rocket that fucking solid where we you just plummet through. Bro, no, there's no way it's going to happen, bro. There's no way. There's no way. How can you go super speed without going into something? Alone, this is not just possible, but easy. Then again, at a point where we could do that, they would figure out some automated way where it would detect something in front of it and then like alter its direction a little bit. Like at super speed, you know what I mean? It would be mad. It's a simple process be crazy. and such a necessary step for any species to expand beyond their home planet that many astronomers think there are probably Dyson spheres already out there in the Milky Way. What? We haven't spotted any yet, but they could be there. It's far from certain Bro, that you might get to this point. Our attention is too often focused on short-term political gains and conflicts that will not matter in the long yeah, run. Yeah, 100%. But if we survive the challenges we've set ourselves, we could potentially become the first species in the universe to create a structure with the scope of a star.
Hundred percent. Like all, all, all this like fucking wars that people want and shit between like country, bro. It don't matter. It don't matter. Like everyone just come together and just fucking build a Dyson sphere, man, and just like conquer the fucking universe. If we left, will be our own We're messing around now. Really, really, really good video. Enjoyed that one so We've much. Just hit you with a lot of right, this is just about the website. But really, really, really good video. Enjoyed that one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it too. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up and you subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.